I closed my eyes, I can still hear the accident uh, going through my head. Sergeant Lisa Chirac will never forget October 8, 1993, when a stolen vehicle being driven by a 17-year-old mowed down her partner, Constable Rick Sonnenberg, on Deerfoot Trail. He was deploying the spike belt, and as he ran across the lanes of traffic, we watched the offending vehicle go from the far median lane all the way across, and that's where it struck Rick. His upper body landed at my feet where I was standing, and his legs were dragged 200 meters down the road. She immediately went into shock. My closest friend at that time, my best friend, was taken from me. Chirac returned to work just two weeks after the incident, but came to regret it years later. Post-traumatic stress was something that was so new, and really we didn't talk about it, and I suffered from it. I suffered from it for two years. She started drinking heavily, became severely depressed, and even turned suicidal. Here I was with not a scratch on me, and Rick had sacrificed his life. So the guilt for me and uh, what I went through in my process, my journey, I would say, through all of this, it wasn't easy. But she sought help, saw a psychologist, and pieced her life back together. Now she's grateful for the positives that came from the tragedy, like the Hawk police helicopter, and is at peace believing Sonnenberg's death was a sacrifice. You know, that night that this happened, um, when we listened to the chase, it was down in Bowness, and we listened to it go throughout the whole city. Rick and I made that comment to each other that, you know what, somebody's going to be killed in this. And as it came closer, we had the spike belt, and we made that decision right there that, you know what, we're going to stop these guys. These guys need to be stopped or they're going to kill somebody else. Um, Rick ultimately sacrificed his life in this. That's the quality of character she remembers every Thanksgiving on the anniversary of the crash. I am thankful that I got to work with Rick and I was one of his closest friends. Um, I'm thankful that I was the one that was with him that night. And uh, so I guess for me, it's the thank Thanksgiving weekend is just always being remembering to be thankful for something. For Sun News, I'm Lyle Aspinall.